Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Friday, July 29th, 2022. Hope you had a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning with us this Friday evening as we uh, end the month of August, uh, or month of August, end the month of July, heading into August. And I got a busy show coming up for you. I don't got a lot of time. We'll take a look back this week at the Inclusive Playground uh, ribbon cutting happening this past Sunday. Want to make sure that you get a chance to see that. Uh, we'll take you back out to that uh, great event. Plus, I'll check in with the Fitchburg Chamber. Brandon Rounds is here. He'll have everything uh, for the month of August uh, coming up here in the city of Fitchburg. A lot of fun stuff happening in the month of August. So don't be uh, too sad that summer's coming to an end we still got some good stuff to in the works here about sketchy headlines we're start with that adam roads uh, adams road closure that's going to be happening for culvert work adams road will be closed uh, uh from fitchrona road to wet road uh, on august 1st through august 5th to replace a failing culvert the road is completely blocked or will be completely blocked uh, west of Went Road. And uh, there will still be access for the homeowners in the area. If there's any rain delays, we'll certainly let you know. Uh, to, that would change the construction uh, timing. Drago being recognized by Capital K9 uh, this week. And it says here that uh, as we start wrapping up our canines uh, in the community series, we need to congratulate K9 Drago of the Fitchburg Police Department for 40 years of service to the department. Of course, that's in dog years, but Officer Parker, uh, John Parker, has been partnered with K9 Drago uh, since uh, May of 2017. They're a great duo, and you can check out what they do day in and day out for training and more online and uh, finally there is a monkeypox vaccination clinic starting next week we have the info here for you uh, wisconsin expanded eligibility guidance from the wisconsin department of health services and uh, be opening a vaccination clinic the clinic will have limited hours during the weekdays and by appointment only starting on monday august 1st and you can learn more about if you're eligible for this by going to publichealthmdc.com. All right, those are for our headlines. Told you it was short. Coming up next, we'll check in with the inclusive playground uh, being open now and later with the Fitchburg Chamber on this edition of Talking Fitchburg. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household but phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Brandon met a girl on a dating app. He finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. She must be a keeper. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spills. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg in the Digest. And today we're going to take you back out to the ribbon cutting that happened last weekend for the Inclusive Playground. Located at beautiful McKee Farms Park right next to the splash pad. And in case you missed it. We wanted you to see uh, all the great work and uh, resources that went into making this park happen. Take a look. Today's ribbon cutting is a celebration of over five years of work by many people 
each playing a very pivotal role in making this a reality. I always call it a dream team. I'm gonna mimic the speech I made seven years ago when we opened the splash pad over here, <laughs> is that it takes a dream team. It takes people who are passionate, people who are passionate about projects, people who are passionate about inclusion, people who are passionate about serving people with disabilities. So um, a lot of people came into this and to start things off, I'm gonna welcome Mayor Richardson, who's just gonna welcome you and say a few things about the playground. Aaron Richardson. Thank you everyone for being here. I really am just overjoyed seeing how many kids are out here already playing on this playground. This is just a great facility to add to everything else we have here in Fitchburg. We have such a wonderful parks uh, department park for infrastructure throughout the city and to be able to have something like this that again is so inclusive and that's a big thing as mayor that I've always wanted to do and has been a focus of mine is to make sure that we have things for everyone. So to have something like this for people with different abilities is just fantastic but it's for everyone. It's not just for a certain group of people as well. I want to thank Jake for all of his work as well. Thank you Jake for all your efforts. I also want to thank uh, all of our staff that's helped out with this. We have Scott here from the Parks Department. I know there's a lot of other staff here as well. And we also have a couple of people on the City Council here who are also instrumental in helping with this. Gabriella Gerhardt, who represents this area. And also Julia Radafrada, who was actually instrumental in getting this park built. And thank you for all your efforts in getting this built. It's just a wonderful facility. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you again, Jake. I'm very happy to say that from day one, uh, Aaron Richardson was a supporter of this project and we really welcome your support and thanks for being a part of it as well. Um, so um, I would like to introduce to you, I'm gonna go through a list of people here. Um, Alder Julia Radafrada, she's gonna talk about how she got the project started and working with the city and say a few things about that. Julia really got this ball rolling <laughs> five years ago and uh, brought me in later, so yeah, okay. Julia. Okay, thank you, Jake. Hello, hola, bienvenidos. Welcome everyone to the park. Um, this project started five years ago with a question, a question that I asked Amanda Hudek, she's the president of CI Therapy, about how the, where do the kids with some sort of disability, physical and cognitive disability, play in Fitchburg? And the question was, I, we don't have a park in Fitchburg to do that. So, and she introduced me to the concept of uh, dream parks, inclusive playgrounds, and then from that moment I decided, Amanda, let's build it in Fitchburg. So, I, we introduced the idea to the mayor, to the council, and the city staff, uh, and everyone was on board from day one. So they said, let's build this uh, park here in Fitchburg. And since then, we form a group of people, volunteer, um, CI, Oak Bank, uh, Optimist Club, uh, the city staff, especially Scott in the park department with his team. Um, and this one was a, um, a project that is 50-50, 50, 50, 50 uh, funded with public funds and 50 with private. And a lot of Fitchburg company and neighbors and donors came forward and, and donated money for this park. So I want to thank you everyone that uh, was part of this team. Uh, this is a playground for all. Uh, this is a playground people only for Verona, Oregon, Brookf Brooklyn, all these towns around us can come here because this is the third inclusive playground in Dane County. So I think this is great for the city of Fitchburg and thank you everyone, especially I want to thank Jake, uh, that he's won the champion and he uh, is the glue in our team and, uh, put, and move forward with this and the fundraising campaign. So thank you Jake very much, okay? As a, a passionate uh, advocate for people with disabilities and their families, um, I'm a former president of the board of Moving Out. We build inclusive housing here in Dane County and around the state and Midwest. Um, so it was a no-brainer to get involved in this project. That was a no-brainer. Um, I will certainly be thanking a lot of the donors later in the program, but we're just going to keep it moving along. I would like to introduce Luke Lang from CI Pediatric Therapy Centers. They are our lead sponsor on this playground. They gave us. $50,000 to help build what you have before you today. So Luke's just gonna talk about how they got involved. Come on, join us, Luke. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, Jake. And what a beautiful day to be out here on this uh, beautiful playground enjoying this weather. Um, as mentioned, I am Luke from CI Therapies, and at CI Therapies we provide all, a whole bunch of different services for kids of all ages and all abilities. We serve communities around the Madison area, including here in Fitchburg. We have two locations. So when we heard about this project, it was in, we were absolutely thrilled to be a part of this. Um, and we absolutely were so excited to just get in here and provide our expertise about what would be really beneficial to the actual park itself, what equipment would be out there. So at CI Therapies, we're all about play. One of our values is being play-based, right? So we obviously at a playground here, you're going to do lots of playing. So in order to do that playing, we had to look at four different kind of domains on about what all the equipment could be, um, what we could utilize inside of this equipment. So there are some components about sensory, there are motor skills components, components about the equipment that will challenge cognitive skills, social skills, communication skills. So we really base our equipment choices and how we design the playground based on kind of those four domains and really emphasizing that all ages and all abilities can and should play. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, a lot of hard work and passion was put into this playground, but um, as long as we're out here to have fun and play, um, everybody will get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A couple things I mentioned beforehand, if you see the coloring on the ground here on this excellent surface that we put in, that was specifically designed with consultants from CI. They wanted to be very receptive to people um, with sensory issues. And the color of a playground shouldn't always be flashy, bright, like a lot of the playground vendors want to sell you. Um, so we need to be sensitive to um, a lot of different issues when we're building. And a lot of thought went into that. A lot of thought went into placement and flow of different devices and, and how kids will use this playground. So. Of course, they're going to decide how to use the playground themselves, even though, even though we have that decided. Um, is Corey here? Did Corey come? Okay. Well, I just want to say something about Corey Horton. So Corey Horton from R.A. Smith, he was our project engineer. Um, he uh, poured his heart into this. We had several meetings. I know you met with him several times too, Scott, and put a lot of personal meaning in this. As a parent of someone with disabilities, I think he was the ideal partner to join in as engineer. So I just want to thank Corey. Volunteers from the Fitchburg Optimist Club. A lot of us spent a lot of days in the summer selling drinks at the art fair to make this happen. We participated with Kamika in a bowling tournament, raised about, I think about $7,000 for this uh, in the bowling tournament. And the Optimists are all volunteers, all a part of this, just doing it for the love of it. Uh, Laura Smith from Oak Bank did a lot of work with us as well. And so I just wanted to thank them. I am going to bring Jim up from Oak Bank. Jim, do you want to say something? Otherwise, I got something for you. I got something for you. Why don't you say something? This is Jim from Oak Bank. They are also one of our sponsors. Well, I will be, I will be brief. Um, just thinking earlier and talking earlier how, I mean, just honored we are to be participating in this. And I look back at the dream park that started 20 plus years ago, and then the splash pad, which was about 10 years ago, and now this. So. Um, just great. The community's been so good to us. It's always good to give back. And when you find uh, a, a situation like this where you have leverage and you have um, multiple, everybody involved, the city comes front, so people from the government are involved. The individuals in the community are fundraising. The business community is fundraising. Uh, and then CI bringing the expertise. That was really a big part of that as well. You're not just giving uh, a dollar, you're giving a dollar with people that are very educated and, and know how to take those dollars and make them really pay off for, for the community and create such a cool uh, such a cool place. So again, it is, the inclusion is fantastic. It's a great thing uh, to be involved with and Oak Bank's just, just really be, really proud to be a part of it. So good job, everyone. So in addition to our three big donors, CI Pediatric Therapy Centers, Oak Bank, and Kamika Amatek, I want to say something really quickly about Kamika since they're not here. They were able to utilize the funds that we raised from the bowling tournament, which was about $3,600, and they got a corporate match from Amatek, their parent company, so that's why we were able to make $7,000 out of that. So, um, and Annie Stroud was just a champion at getting, uh, getting volunteers together from Kamika to come be a part of this.
All right, that video was posted online. Check it out. And again, great work to everybody who came together to make this happen. Take a quick break. Go into the chamber next. You're on TF. See on page four that the projections need to be blood. Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So. I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is, prediabetes can be reversed, and for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joey Day from the Fitchburg Chamber. You'll recognize them. It's Brandon. Welcome back to the show, sir. How you doing? Very good today. It's a beautiful day out. Super excited to be here. Thank you. You know, when it's really nice out, I would want your office on a day or be in your office on a day like today when it's sunny and it just looks glorious there. It's such a nice campus. Yeah, it's amazing over here. I mean, the they have plant wildflowers every year and it's just beautiful. I love to go for a walk around the Adora and just a great place to be. It is, it really is. So, uh, and there's some events coming up uh, around there that we'll tell you about uh, in this uh, update, uh, Brandon. But first, let's uh, jump into uh, what you got coming up the month of August and uh, starting with BB9. Yeah, so BB9 is uh, August 2nd and uh, it's a very special one. It's Speed Networking, which is one of our highest um, attended events. So we encourage everybody to come, bring plenty of business cards, uh, and join us at the Hawthorne Suites on August uh, 2nd. Yeah, great way to meet uh, all the businesses in the chamber. And like you said, divvy up some uh, business cards and make some connections because that, that is one of your goals uh, as a chamber is, is you want to build those connections between the businesses. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as a community connection and business connection, that's definitely our main focus is making sure that businesses are working with other businesses here in Pittsburgh and encouraging uh, local local business and um, engagement and communication. So that is definitely our goal. Yeah, I, I, for the events that we go out and see, there's just a lot of businesses that when they meet up, they're like best friends. You're like, oh my gosh, but they've been together so long in Fitchburg. Uh, you know, they just build those uh, relationships up. Uh, really awesome. Uh, it's awesome to see. Uh, another uh, event that's happening is Jazz at Five uh, happening in the park. Uh, it's uh, it's back. They split it this year. They're doing half uh, back at the State Street and then still staying here in Fitchburg. Yeah, so we're happy to have uh, Jazz at Five back on August 3rd and August 10th. So please make sure to go, go to McKee Farms Park and, and go see them. Yeah, it's not, it's like the alternative to our uh, concerts in the uh, concerts at McKee, uh, which is also coming up. Uh, and uh, it's already our final one of the season. Can you believe it? <laughs> All I that have, planning, Brandon, that you I go know. through. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that it's going to be the last one. I wish we could expand them and do a little bit more, but um, we're really excited to welcome Revolu Group on uh, August 15th back to McKee Farms Park. You know, we have our opening band with uh, Madison Music Foundry at six and then 
they'll take the stage at seven. Plenty of food carts, drink carts, bring your own picnic basket, whatever you want. Lawn chairs, bring family, friends, dogs, kids, everything. So we're excited to have everybody back on August 15th. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. If you haven't been out there, you are missing out. A party in the park for sure, but uh, just such a great evening. And the, the, we've had this band before. Did I hear you say that right? No, we've, we no, haven't had them. No, okay. brand no, new. I no, try no. to bring new bands all the time to keep it fresh. So um, yeah, we're excited to have them. And they've been all over Madison. So I, they're going to be great. Yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard some people say that this is a great group uh, and uh, they have a good following as well. So uh, definitely you want to be on site for that. Uh, Agora Art Fair right in front of your doorway there. Uh, and that is an art uh, arts of all sorts. Like they have every medium possible and then they throw music on top of it. Yeah, there's it's going to be a really great day, even if even if you're not anticipating to buy anything, come down to the Agora Art Fair, just walk around and look at the amazing things that, you know, local artists are producing. It's, it's a wonderful event to come down and just walk around, enjoy music. There's two different bands or two different stages for bands. Um, so live music, uh, we're host the Fitchburg Chamber is hosting the beer tent. So come down and grab some local brews and walk around. We have wine. So grab a glass of wine and walk around as well. Um, and enjoy just local art and have a great day. It's going to be beautiful out. Um, I'm, I'm anticipating it's going to be beautiful. I'm telling you right now. Um, <laughs> but lots of great food carts too. So come down, grab some food, walk around and then just enjoy the agar Agora and, and all this local art. And Brandon, the, this is their fourth, if I read it right, this is their 14th uh, annual event. But more importantly, why events like this are so important for our community and, and the chamber is part of the visitor bureau side of his, things as well. So we want to bring people into the community uh, and show off. And this is such a great steward to, to Fitchburg, I think, uh, for, for all the years, because it, it brings together all the things that Fitchburg pretty much has to offer, minus biking, but you still can bike to this thing too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely bike here and check it out. But we have people from all over the place coming here, people from Chicago, People from, you know, Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, you know, we've seen a lot of people come just to come see this event and really it helps boost our economy right here in Fitchburg because they're eating at our restaurants, they're staying in our hotels and, you know, buying locally. So it really boosts us and really helps us. Um, it's, it gets bigger every single year. And, you know, I've been a part of it for the last few years being working here and, and I've seen it grow and grow and grow and we just keep getting busier and busier. So come check it out. Yeah, it's an awesome event. And I, I like that you said that even if you're not planning on buying anything, still come on down to the grounds because it's free to free to come down and enjoy and then take part in some of the uh, other activities. And uh, yeah, are you serving up? Uh, is that what you do uh, there, uh, Brandon? Yeah, we the Fitchburg Chamber does the beer tent. I will be there the entire day. So oh, geez. from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can see me at the beer tent just I'll make everybody else pour the beers, but um, I'll, take the, <laughs> I'll take the orders. So oh, come, man. come That's down awesome. and see me there. And um, we have some great volunteers, some different, some ambassadors and great businesses that will be there to volunteer their time. So come support them and um, get a nice local beer. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, still at Agora, we've still got the Fitchburg Farmers Market happening every Thursday, three to six, but uh, we have that uh, special event each month. And this month is the pig roast. Yeah, August 18th. And it's also another very special day because it's my birthday. So is it really? It is. So I'll, right. definitely, I'll definitely have to go down and get some pig roast. Um, it's always an amazing time of the year. So head down to the farmers market here at the Agora on uh, August 18th, for sure, for the pig, pig, pig roast uh, from three to six, so. I like that you're going down to have dinner, you know, get the pig roast, you know, I, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty noble of you to go down there for that. Yep. We won't hold you to it if you don't, but you can pick it up and, you know, eat it for lunch the next day too. So, you know, works uh, either way. Uh, finally, uh, Bike in the Berg uh, continues uh, throughout the summer and uh, the whole theme is get out and bike in Fitchburg. Yeah, we're, we're silver right now and we're working towards gold and we have some amazing paths here in, in Fitchburg and you can definitely bike anywhere, honestly, and you can get anywhere around here. So we encourage, we're encouraging with Bike the Bird to just 
hike wherever you can and log your miles, send those in, and you can win amazing gift cards from local businesses here in Fitchburg. And it's all sponsored by Shine uh, Technologies here in Fitchburg and uh, Fitchburg Family Pharmacy, of course. So um, continue to bike and register at bikethebird.org so that you can be entered in to win some prizes. It's free to register. We also have t-shirts. So um, 10 bucks and you get a free t-shirt or well, you get a t-shirt with it. So um, we still have t-shirts available too and they're great. I love them. So please register and bike the bird. All right, uh, Brandon, thank you so much for your time. Always fun checking in with you. If people want to learn more or uh, just come down to see you at your office, uh, where can they uh, find you at? Yeah, you can come down to 5500 East Cheryl Parkway. We're in Suite 106. We have we we produce the Fitchburg Business and Community Guide, so come down and grab one of those so you can see what events we have coming up. But uh, we're always here. So um, nine to nine to four, you can check us out, and then you can also see us at FitchburgChamber.com or visit Fitchburg.com. So we'll see you soon. I need you to sign my uh, community guide, by the way. You, you still haven't signed it for this year. So I need, I got to get everybody's autograph every year. That's going to be my goal. Uh, it is a great, uh, if you haven't seen the guide, you really need to pick one up. They are awesome. You guys do a great job with that every year. Thank you so much, Brandon. Have fun. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at Agora Art Fair for sure coming up. Thank you. You bet. Uh, so check out the Chamber's website uh, because they got a lot going on and that's the best way. That's where we find a lot of our news, by the way, that we share every day uh, is from the Chamber. Uh, so they've got a great resource on all the community events uh, and your local businesses. Take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. The central and midwestern U.S. averages more than 850 tornadoes each year. And lately, the number of floods has been rising in the region, too. So chances are, there will be more twisters and floods near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, wait. What? I can't drive. What? What? My. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Wrapping up the show, I want to thank Brandon for the Fitchburg Chamber. You can check out the Chamber's website to stay connected with what's happening in the city of Fitchburg. It's said summer may be ending, but we've still got a lot of great events coming up. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday.